We are previewing week 11 in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking uh, right now with returning guest Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com, who has uh, generously agreed to fill in on a game we had a cancellation on, and I asked him to talk about Philadelphia at Washington, and he agreed to it, so we're going to talk about that in a minute. Jeff, thanks for being here back with us once again. Thank you, Peter. All right, so tell us a little bit about uh, Jeff Cadillac and jeffcadillac.com. Well, jeffcadillac.com, I do free analysis of all the games in the NFL, and I give free picks on my website as well. So I invite everybody to take a look, see what you like, discard what you don't like. And I do it all the way through the Super Bowl. No gimmicks, just uh, my website, I do the information, I give it out, and if people uh, make money off those picks, hey, more power to them. Sure. Why, why no gimmicks, though? I, I like gimmicks. I mean, why, why don't you, why don't, you might consider throwing some gimmicks in in the future? Well, we'll see how it goes this season, and okay. then uh, maybe next season, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe I'll start charging. Yeah. But uh, right now, everything is free. Um, all my picks, uh, you know, people are welcome. They can check every week. Uh, I, you know, put up the, uh, the, the, the games. Uh, uh, the Thursday night game is on Wednesday, and the rest of the schedule is up by Thursday afternoon. All right. Well, sounds like a great site. And uh, yeah, I mean, if, if I had a site, there'd be 15, 20 gimmicks in it. But uh, you have, if you want to go with no gimmicks, fine. That, that's up to you. That's your call. All right. Philadelphia at Washington. Washington is a three and a half point home favorite. Total is 43 and a half. Again, you didn't choose this game because you think you see an edge. I just asked you if you take it and you did. But I'll tell you. I think I'm seeing an edge, and I'll tell you what it is. You know, obviously Michael Vick is out, uh, Foles is in, and he did play nearly a full game last game, threw about, made about 30 attempts, played certainly fine, if not, uh, you know, didn't blow anyone out of the water, but, but had a good game. Uh, Washington's off the bye. Robert Griffin gets a week to uh, rest up, and the total's 43 and a half. I'm thinking the over might be a great bet here, you know. Uh, Washington has a bad defense, and I don't expect that to make much of an improvement here. I think we'll see a good game from, uh, from Robert Griffin. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you something. I do agree with you on the over, but Philadelphia, I have to uh, go with them. By the way, Nick Foles last week, mm -hmm. he had a pick six and he had a lost fumble. So uh, he didn't have as good a game as you thought he did. Well, right. But Philadelphia, though, does have the tools. And, you know, even if they were known as the dream team, uh, I think they're going to be uh, the dream team against Washington. Washington, last four years off the bye, loss. Also, they got some... Uh, Bad statistics as well. Washington is a favorite in November, 10 and 25 against the spread. And, you know, Washington's coming off a four game losing streak. Philadelphia's coming off a five game losing streak. Both these teams are really out of it. And the only thing left they have to play for is pride. But, you know, Washington's secondary is very banged up. If, if Foles sees something that, uh, you know, he sees an opening, I think he should take it because uh, these next few games now that Vic is out, he's going to have to prove himself. Right. Yeah, no, I agree with that analysis uh, completely. And you know that the people are going to see, uh, you know, the public's going to see Washington coming off the bye and Vic being out. And that's probably going to be uh, make them uh, lean towards Washington. So that's very much of a contrarian play here, Philadelphia. And I kind of like it. And I'm also thinking that maybe, you know, the Philadelphia team total will be uh, only about 20. And uh, that might be a great bet right there. Well, I definitely could see a shootout here. Yeah. Because you got Robert Griffin, you know, RG3 likes to run, he likes to pass, he sees an opening, he doesn't hesitate. But also Nick Foles has to be careful because if he starts taking too many chances, you know, he's going to have another pick six. And right. uh, Andy Reid uh, is already treading on, uh, you know, thin ice. Sure, sure. Pick six is fine. That's wonderful throw. Yeah, a pick six is fine for the over. Uh, quickly, what do you have to say about the Philadelphia defense? you think that they're going to be able to uh, hold Griffin down, or do you think they're going to be a little bit vulnerable? Well, I think the Philadelphia defense does play well, yeah. but, uh, you know, if the offense is giving up the ball all the time, it's hard for them to stay on the field the whole game. Uh, they should have Philadelphia defense, believe it or not, plays better than a lot of defenses in the NFL, but if, it, if the offense is already giving up a lot of fumbles and a lot of interceptions, well, then, you know, the defense really doesn't have anything to play for. Yep, I, I like it. So your official lean is Philadelphia plus three and a half, and mine is over 43 and a half. Thanks.